Good evening, Rogers customers. Today we're going to be going over the assembly of the Rogers Goosebuster XL. However, the assembly for this and the instructions to put this together are the exact same for the Goosebuster XL and the Goosebuster standard, so these will work for both. Um, when you open up the box, your blind is going to be something similar to this. You spread out the cover and then you're going to have all your bars here. What I like to do first is kind of just separate them out. So I got these bars. Now I know these are for the doors, so I'll go ahead and, and put those together. It's just a push button design. I'll set those off to the side. Then I'll grab the ones for the next door, put them together. But keeping it organized, it just makes it makes it a little bit easier as, as you're setting the blind up and once you're inside doing the framework. Set those ones off to the side. Um, and these two, like an N-shaped bar, these are gonna be your frame. We'll grab those, we'll open up the blind. And these will be the foundation for the rest of your hunting needs. So you have this N-shaped bar um, with these two support bars on it. That bar and that assembly goes towards your headrest. Um, and I find it easier to fold these towards your knees for now. Just kind of tuck it up in, in there. Then you can grab the other in-shape bar, the bottom piece to the frame. Um, flip around here. And like the doors, these are just a, a push button design. So you kind of just slide together. You kind of work it um, at separate times just to go, have it go smooth on. Locked in and locked in. After that, you have four screws to, to get your support bars on. This bar here, um, the one with the disc, and it'll have four pins on it. That one goes towards your headrest. You wanna make sure these pieces here face towards the inside of the blind. Um, and this part here will screw right into this back corner. And it comes with the screw there. I'm gonna get that out. Put that one in. Then we'll mimic it on this side. Um, so same thing, just take that screw out. I'm gonna put a half turn on here. So once you got that done, you can go ahead and put your support bar up, um, just that middle bar. And what you do on these, is it's just a pin system. You just slide it right through and right you go. Oh, apologize, it's the same on this side. After that, we're gonna move down to the bottom of the blind. And this is the bar that will go above your knees to give you a little bit of room down, down low. Take the two screws out. And it'll be the same on this side. After that, your bottom bar is connected. What you can do is go ahead and take the cover and it just Velcros around this bar. Um, so you can see it just slips around, just give it to a little bit of structure there. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull the C over, or your backrest over, kind of get the fabric up. And the next thing, all we have left to do is to install the doors. Um, so you have two pieces, the exact same, and it doesn't really matter which side they go in. What you're gonna wanna do is feed this top lip here through this hole so you'll put it in the zippered port and there's a hole at the top and you're going to want to feed it through there and that just keeps it in place i um, mean you can go ahead and drop it in and slide this pin in and with the, the rest of the door frame out here um, you can slide it in the zippered assembly 
and you can go ahead and shut that just to keep it keep it in place. And you got one pin down here also. And it's the same for same for this side. Make sure your door's open. Take your top piece. You're gonna want to thread it through that upper hole up there. And go ahead and slide that pin in. And all these pins are connected by this rope. Um, so you never have to worry about losing them when you disassemble it or when you're out in the field. Go ahead and slide that in there. I like to shut the door just to keep it in place. And then you got one pin left and you slide it in. Um, then all, the only thing else you need to do, if you look under your backrest, there's two buckles. I gotta loosen those up. Get out of the way here. And then you flip that backrest down, you are ready to hunt. Once you're done with your hunt, um, you pretty much just reverse the process if you'd like to break it down. You unbutton or unbuckle those. Really the only thing you need to do to break it down um, fully is there's six pins, three on each side like we went over during the assembly. So you'll pull this pin, pull that pin, and you can go ahead and do the two on the other side also. And the thing to remember is everything folds towards the center. So your support bar towards the center of the blind, to the center of the blind. Then the backrest bar just folds down. Let me pull those doors out of there. Folds down towards the center of the blind. Then you have two pins left down below, um, both for the doors. Pull those out. You just undo this Velcro and it folds towards the center of the blind. So that's where you can shut the doors, pull your foot bag up, um, and you can clip it here. I like to take it all the way up, and we have buckles on the back side also. I like to clip mine there just because it pulls it up. It keeps the grass a little bit more um, hidden and against the wind, or away from the wind. And then it helps keeps the door shut in case I'm throwing it in the bed of my truck or if I have to walk out. Um, but then you can cinch those down. And there is backpack straps on the back. And like we said earlier, these instructions in assembly and disassembly is for the Goosebuster XL, which is what we just showed, and also the Goosebuster standard. But the exact same design, um, just different frame dimensions on them. That's everything. Thank you guys.